Thank you, Alex. Well, fires roaring through California, storms lashing Dallas north, and day after day after day of highs well over 100 degrees in the desert southwest, including Las Vegas. One weather maker helping to drive all three of those. Yep, high pressure. All right, since the beginning of the year, we've had some impressive temperatures. Temperatures from average. Dr. Eric Navarro here to break it down with us because the past kind of stuck. And so, what weather you've seen lately, the weather you may see for the foreseeable future. It really hasn't changed for no. the last month or so. And unfortunately, it's not looking like we're seeing a big pattern change even moving forward. But take a look at some of these numbers. It's been cold and dreary in the Northeast. And you can see here, we're below average. But look at Las Vegas and Phoenix, second well warmest, well above normal for a contrast of two different parts of the country. Yes. But one's on the, the yin and the yang of a, basically a jet stream flow. Yeah, the jet stream flow that, again, just appears to be stuck and not going anywhere. So All if right. we take a look at what's happened, we can draw this out on the chalkboard to show you how this pattern is connected. Okay, so we know we've got intense heat across the west. It's just been unsettled around the Great Lakes and North. It's been cool for really most of Really, really since May, if you want to go back. But here's that pattern. So we have a ridge here in the west, and we've had this persistent high pressure. So underneath it, that's where we're getting all of the fires. It's really dry. It's been very warm. But what's interesting is this high pressure, as we have this southern branch of it, there's actually a tropical cyclone out here that it's interacting with, and it's taking Eugene all the way up uh, to a northern track. So kind of amazing how that's playing, uh, playing a role. But if we look over here into the eastern part of the country, we've had a persistent trough. And even though it's not super deep, it's still enough to be really interacting with the weather. So we've had moisture flowing up here from the south. We've had cold and dreary and unsettled weather. A lot of these areas in the northeast have seen some of their wettest springs and summers uh, that they've seen in a while. And it was just a few minutes ago we showed the pattern for the Great Lakes, which is day after day after day of storms this week. That's right. Rounds and rounds and rounds of storms from here through here through here, and that's going to persist through Thursday. At least through the week. The pattern doesn't shift a whole lot. Doesn't shift a whole yeah, unfortunately. No, not a whole lot. All right, so. Yes. You so, know, come over here. I'm, yeah. I'm going to claim you now because uh, we want to talk about moving forward. When. When could we see a break? Yes, so what we would need is for that ridge that's present over the west to shift off to the east. And so things are looking like they're trying mm. to get out of this stuck pattern, but look at how persistent that ridge is. It's over. almost like pulsing. Yes, it, it doesn't want to move. Just hanging out. Yes, so we do see some warmer temperatures coming on the way for the east coast, but really not so much. But if that ridge does slide a little, slide a little bit to the east, it may open a window for the next perhaps a potential tropical system that's in the Atlantic to maybe get a possibility of moving uh, towards the coast, but we'll have to watch that one very carefully to see, and Dr. Neb's actually going to talk about that later. All right, excellent. Dr. Navarro, thank you so much. And we've got much more still to come here on Weather Underground, including all eyes on the Atlantic again as we watch the remnants of Tropical Depression 4. This is tracking in the direction of Florida. We are going to go in-depth on its chances for development when we come back. And do you want to join in on the conversation? Did Dr. Navarro's segment just give you some questions? Send them our way. Use the hashtag WUTV. That's how we get your questions. We'll answer them on air. Also, if you've got any great pictures, or just stuff you want to share with us, send it our way. All right, I want to take you back to the state of Ohio. Tornado warning in effect for Athens, Meigs County. Uh, these are the areas to watch. Washington County as well. 6.30, the expiration on the northern warning. The southern one till 6.45. The Super